Hé, hey, nou, ik zat even onderzoek te doen bij mezelf. Waar ga ik doorheen? Want er zijn heel veel stekels natuurlijk. Maar ja, dat zijn dus van de bramenplanten. Mm. Oeh, die is zuur. Maar, nou, ik wil... Oh. Mm. Maar goed. Ik wilde dat doen, maar nee, anders gaat het allemaal aan mijn kleren zitten. We gaan gewoon... Uh, we're gonna start with a story, people. You know? So, I grew up here in this environment. So yesterday, oh, am I gonna do it in English or in Dutch? Because hey, when I speak in Dutch, I can do. Blah, 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 blah. But hey, let's just do it in English. It's okay because hey, then I can reach out other people also with this. Hey, because not everyone understands the Dutch. So yesterday I was here for the first time after many many years again. Do you know the neighbor on that side told me that before the houses was built here, there was an artist, a kunstenaar. He was living here. And if the stories are correct, like the neighbor said, I'm just telling you the story like the neighbor said, eh? remember. The neighbor told me that he was, he came from a very wealthy family. And the beautiful thing is, I have worked for that family years later and I didn't even know. So, what he told me is that he was a kluizenaar. He was living with, he didn't want to live in the society. So, like he told me, is that he built a bunker under the ground and was living there and when they found him I don't know how long he was in there he had two big dogs and when they came here the police I guess they had to shoot the dogs because hey of course the dogs were protecting their territory and, hey it was their ground they were living here so it was under the ground so even the neighbor on that side he said when they were um, um, opgraven then they found that water pot That was there and some few things, but he just can't remember. So, hey, if he doesn't know the story, he did tell me about that water pot that they found when they, toen ze het op hadden graven. But that other neighbor, yes. So he told me, wow, he was from the family Schimbrere. Schimbrere, Nederlandse modebedrijf. Die al meer dan 150 jaar of 175 jaar. Laatst zag ik even een artikel online. Heel kort, heel vluchtig. Ik 150, 150 jaar. In ieder geval na zoveel jaar moesten, gingen ze de winkel sluiten. Of hun concept, joh. Dus wat bijzonder is. You know what? Wow, what so special is. That person was living on this, under this ground. And my grandparents' house was built on that bunker. Because people, the bunker is still under the ground. So that's what the neighbors said. So if the bunker is still here, from that very wealthy family, it is here somewhere. Where is it, people? And if it's a true story, the people, the family should know. I tried to look it up yesterday. I couldn't find an article. But hey, maybe, you know, maar chimbrere. Fantastisch, you know. Oh, mensen, we gaan even naar het Nederlands. We're going to Dutch for now. Mensen, wauw, onvoorstelbaar dat gewoon een, een kunstenaar onder de grond hier heeft gewoond. In een bunker, heel anoniem. Kluizenaar. Hij was een kluizenaar. Hij was een kluizenaar, zei de buurman. Twee honden. Heel artistiek. Wauw, maar wie was die man? Wie was die man? Dat weet alleen Schimbrere familie. Dus, you know what the neighbor even said? That he, there, oh, people, some people won't even believe me, but he shared me the story. That he, he, one of his relatives, they could see spirits. Yeah, people walking. So he, she told him that she saw... That person is still walking around here. And in the last phase that my grandma was living here, when my grandfather passed away, she told to the neighbors that she was afraid about that. She could feel something in the house. Wow. Did she feel, did she see something? We don't know because, hey, some believe, some don't. But hey, they told me the story that they could see him still walking around here. Wow, people. Hey, that was the story. That kunstenaar, de kluizenaar, familie van Schimbrere. Wow, and you know, I told them yesterday, hey, I worked for them before I went to Amsterdam. I walked, worked for four months for Schimbrere. Never knew that when I came to Holland, the house that my grandparents were living and where me and my, my, my sister, my, dad, my father, mother were living, we were living under history. History from Schimbrere. Wow, people. And years later, I was working for them, not even knowing that his spirit is here. I wonder, huh? because, hey, I wonder. I guess he said that he that they found him dead. But how does that story go? I want to know. Hey, I lived here. We lived here, people. 
So, Shimbrera, bring the story to me. Or, hey, I will go find the story. Maybe it will come to me. Funny, eh? The bunker is here, under the ground. Een hele bekende kunstenaar, kluizenaar van Shimbrera. Jaren geleden, it must be years, 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 years. How many? Wow, in the one of the videos, they told me how long the houses will build, whatever. You know? Wow, that goes way back, people. So, that goes back then more than 80 years. Maybe more than 100 years, even. Wow, how long? And before, how long? I, I, I have questions, of course, hey, many questions, because how long before they built the houses did he pass away? When did they start building here? And that bunker, where is it? Is it still under the ground? Is it true or not? And where is that position? Hey, someone should know that, of course, and about the bunker and where it is. But hey, do you see the jungle? Mama would love to find that bunker. But hey, it's under the ground. Wow, that bunker, history people. Wow, I'm just still amazed. Shimbrera, wow. And I was heel, wow. He was wealthy, he came from a very rich family, but I guess he didn't want anything to do with that wealthiness. That's why he was under the ground with his dogs, with, out of the society, and he was very creative. Kunstenaar. What for kunstenaar was hij? I would love to know what kind of artist of kunstenaar he was. Definitely. Hey, we were living here once again. Wow, and you know, the neighbor also shared with us, I remember that even, that when we were living here, a tree, my sister was sleeping in that room, a tree fell into the window. In the storm, oh yes, we already recorded that. I guess it's on video. Wow, it is. The bunker people, but a jungle over here. Wow. A story, you know, it's a history story. I've been living here, true story, coming close by. That's why I loved history. And you know, I'm an artist too, you know. I love to meet artists because it's a new thing for me, you know, especially uh, that's where, where we're going through, you know. Wow. I wonder what type of person he was. I wonder what his name was. I just wonder what type of person, like I said, you know, I, I especially about history. I, it interests me, of course, you know, and that's nice to tell my children about it, of course, you know, I would love to bring them here to share them the story, but hey, I did some pre-work for them, and when all is fine, of course, hey, I will take them here, I will take them to the, to the neighbors to show them around that we live there, I will bring them, hey, but they need to have good clothes on, boots, you know, because hey, <laughs> it's a jungle here, and you know, children like to play through the jungle, but hey, they are very, yeah, the Brahma planta, you know, you have to be careful <laughs> with those things. Wow, I just want to show them here, you know, just want to show them around. Yes, let's step out of that because, hey, that's injustice. That's for another topic. Wow, here it was, people. Here my story, the history. And didn't even know that we were living under a spirit from a wealthy person that passed away. And the bunker was still there. It's still there. Where is it, people? Where is that? Wow, let's just walk back to the apple trees. Get out! Mm, I'm stuck. Oh, sorry. Oh, this is for my friend. Sorry. Ah! I took the swift. I told you we gotta be careful. Huh? Mm. See? Oh no. Okay. Oh yes. Let's try to get this off. Of course we will. Hey, I need two hands, but hey. <gasps> sorry, this is from Ria. I need to be careful. It's for my friend. Oh, it's stuck. You see? Here. Let's just stay together like my children they want to stay together with mom oh yeah that's the story so my sister saw the ch my children after wow many years and kale and kartik too you know uh, so i'm happy they saw them but my daughter was uh, wanted to see mommy of course and know of sure you know and she was so sad that she couldn't understand you know they don't understand the situation you know they don't understand they're so young they're three do you know what i love about this oh someone was creating here something yeah, I can see that, you know. Nice, but you know what I was saying? Um, they are too young to understand what's going on. They're six and three, you know. And they're putting them in, the, in that molen. That's not okay, people. They don't understand. They just want to be with their mother, with their healthy mother, because I'm a healthy mother. But what has been happening around us, that's injustice, like I said before. And I will keep on repeating it till we have the right help. Because, hey, you know... I'm still finding the people that stand above that, you know, that see, hey, something has been happening. That's not right. This is injustice. And it started from the beginning because they filed a report on my mother with a sick mind. 
And that went on and on and on. And I was just like I said to the neighbors, I was protecting me and my children in our privacy, but didn't know what we were living with. But now I understand better because, you know, my grandfather, how he treated my my grandmother, you know. I don't even know the whole real true story, but I know, you know. I know. And then my uh, father by my mother, you know. And then now it's now it's DB by me. And no one understands that, of course, because they don't know our history. It's only as a person, the core of the person knows it himself. And because I have a clear mind, clear thought, I know everything. I know, I understand better why we are in this relationship, why I was in the relationship with that person. And I understand better. But the only thing I care always is me and my children and the kitty cats to be safe. And this is the other situation, you know. It's not like, hey... It's okay, we're breaking up. No, people, this is going on a level that's not okay. Not okay. Because I'm a good mother, like I said before. A good mother with healthy things. Like, you see, I do history. I do nature. I do everything I like that's happy and fun and excited to learn. Also for the children. Hey, I'm the mother. You learn, you pre-learn, and then you learn your children, of course. <laughs> Duh. So, wow. So I love the nature, of course. Hey, that's a good mother, you know. So, like I said, the only thing that I've always been telling, you know, we need a safe place, okay? Just a safe place, because it's not like, uh, wow, sometimes it's so unrealistic that things are happening on this way, that they think they can, that they are right, but they're not right, you know? You should know, you should know, you should know a mind, I mean, a piece of person's mind, you know, especially when you have power over people, you should know your people once again, if someone acts like that, you want to understand that person that's what you read, that's what you see you want to understand, hey, why is this person reacting like this, why can't we reach this person, there are different ways that's not the aggressive way, there is on a peaceful way, on a pure way with a pure intention, to understand that person, why are you acting like this, how can we help you what have you been through, how was your childhood Whatever, all those type of questions. That's how you can understand a person and that's why how you can help a person. But if you jump in the middle, think you can play hero and you have power and you only are keeping your focus on what you learn in the books, but you don't see the other things around that that's more important. The people, that's, yeah, people. That's why I understand, you know, me and my children are going to come out here and the, oh, it's going to be fine, of course, definitely, definitely. But the one thing is, it, the truth about this needs to be up there, especially we live with this world. This is Holland. This is Nederland. This is ons land, hè? Wij moeten ons hier veilig en vrij voelen. Maar hoe ze naar mij hebben gehandeld, vanaf punt A, hè? Mooi mensen, nog steeds, hè? Ik weet het als de dag van gisteren. Mijn moeder is heel... Die heeft gewoon een persoonlijkheidsstoornis. Van alles wat ze heeft meegenaan. Ik snap dat ook nu steeds beter. Want ik bewandel patronen van alles. Ik ben... Ik, ik wil begrijpen, de mens, waarom? En mezelf natuurlijk, waarom? De, om gewoon lekker verder te vrolijkheid, verder te leven. Loslaten van de pijnen van vroeger. Hé, hey, dat hoef je niet heel je leven mee te dragen. Ik wil dat niet tot mijn dood meedragen. Nee, ik wil gelukkig doodgaan. In alle rust en alle vrede. Net als um, oh, oma Toos. Ja, oma Toos, daar praten mijn kinderen nog steeds over. Ja, dat is de oma van een buurvrouw daar in Dongen. Oh, wauw, wat een lieve vrouw. Daar heb ik voor gewerkt. Ja, oma Toos, wat een... En die stond ook klaar voor de buurt. Oh ja, inderdaad. En hadden een... Oh, melkboer. Waar is een mel... Ja, oh, melkkaars. Oh, oh, Toos vertelde dat haar man rondging. Oh, oh wauw. Ze waren gewoon heel dienstbaar. Heel sociaal. Ja, de dochter van Toos kan over napraten. Want die groet ons altijd. Super lief. Dus uh, ja, kijk kennis, allemaal. Ik, wauw, fantastisch. Daarom zeg ik, ik hou van sociale contacten ook op de juiste manier. Maar de negatieve sociale contacten, dat verdwijnt uit onze leven. Want dat hebben we niet meer nodig. Tuurlijk niet. Dus dit stukje geschiedenis, dat is fantastisch. Dat wij hier gewoon, toen we naar Nederland kwamen, dat we hier hebben gewoond. Dat er dus erfgenaam, een kunstenaar van Chimbraire, hier onder dit huis een bunker heeft gebouwd. Hé, hey, feiten zijn er pas als we de artikel koppen hebben. En familie vooral, want die zijn de bronnen. Oh, ik had zo'n goede contact met de eigenaar toen. De, de zoon van de eigenaar toen. Maar het bedrijf is er niet meer. Het lijkt me wel heel leuk. Ik ga eens googlen. Ik ga eens googlen. Oh, kan wel, maar ik wil gewoon eerst mijn kinderen terug. Dat vind ik het allerbelangrijkste. Het allerbelangrijkste, dat ik en mijn kinderen veilig onderkomen. Weet je, het lijkt soms als een film. Dat ik dan denk, hé, hey, waar zijn die safe houses voor de mensen die... 
die dit meemaken. Ik, uh, dan leef je in een land dat zeggen dat ze in belangen zijn voor de mensen. Maar wat doen ze mij aan en mijn kinderen? Omdat ze valse dossiers hebben. Valse dossiers. En dat het advocaat heeft verteld dat dat gewoon gedaan wordt. Dat mag niet gebeuren. Dat kan toch niet dat dat geaccepteerd wordt in een land waar we ons vrij moeten voelen. Hoe kan dit? Dit is Nederland. Waar zijn de mensen, de juiste mensen, die dit begrijpen en die ons komen helpen in dit onrecht? Dit is onrecht mensen, want dit, de kinderen hebben van raadbescherming... Die wil wat ze allemaal doen. Dat kan niet. Het kan niet mensen. Dus dit is nogmaals weer een noodkreet daaruit in de wereld. Weet je? Dit is een noodkreet. Voor mij en mijn kinderen. Ik wil ze terug. Ik ben een goede moeder. Ik heb zoveel talenten. Wauw. En hoe ik me sterk hou. In het positiviteit. In alles wat om ons heen gaat. En dat ik, ik was gewoon altijd met mijn kinderen hier creatief bezig. Gewoon een goede moeder in huis, hè. Maar doordat mensen gewoon jaloers waren, hebben ze daar tegen me gebruikt. En dat hebben de professionals gewoon geloofd, hè. Wauw, door gewoon hoe hij dat heeft gespeeld, joh. Onvoorstelbaar mensen. En dat kan niet geaccepteerd worden in een land zoals Nederland. Hé, hey, als we in een ander land zaten waar ze het politiek... In Zuid-Afrika, als we in Zuid-Afrika hadden gezeten, oh, dan begrijp ik het. Wauw, want daar is, een, daar is een heel andere wereld daar. Maar dan zou je... Oh, wauw. Dat vond ik altijd zo fijn aan Nederland. Toen ik daar altijd ging, dat ik dacht... Wauw, waar ben ik dankbaar dat wij het zo niet hebben. En dat ik dankbaar was dat mijn moeder ons hier naartoe heeft gehaald. Maar kijk nu. Wauw. Kijk nu. Kijk nu, hè. Dat ze mijn kinderen afpakken. Wat niet oké okay is. En dat ze mogen niet bepalen voor mijn kinderen. Dat mag niet. Het zijn mijn kinderen. Ik ben een goede moeder. Een intelligente moeder met veel wijsheid en kennis. Ja... Mijn kinderen horen bij mij op de juiste manier. Juiste manier. Dus alle hulptroepen in heel het land, in heel de wereld. Help ons. Help ons. Help ons. Dit is onrechtvaardig. En dit mag geen enkel mens meer overkomen. Geen enkel mens. Geen enkel mens. We zijn hier voor de mensen. En niet voor het onrecht, maar voor de rechtvaardigheid. Voor de rechtvaardigheid.